Hi everybody, if you're tired of relying on websites to generate a quick QR code, this tutorial will show you how to use Python to easily generate your own QR codes and save them as images in just a few lines of code. This tutorial assumes you've already installed Python 3 on your machine. If you haven't, or you think you might need to update your install, you can of course get it for free at python.org. The first thing we need to do is use pip to install the QR code package with support for the pillow image library. Without pillow, we won't be able to save our QR codes as image files. We'll do this right from the command prompt. Once the packages are done installing, you can test the install right from the command prompt with one line. I'm using the classically unoriginal Hello World, but you can put whatever you'd like in the quotes. Hit enter to create your QR code and save it as an image file. If you type the name of your image file, it should load right up so you can preview it. You can also type start a space and a period, then enter to open the folder you just saved to and see the file itself. So if you'd like to put this to work in a Python file that you can run anytime you'd like to generate and save a quick QR code, it's as simple as the example you see right here. The first line imports the QR code package. The second line is going to prompt you in the command window for the data, uh, phrase or website that the QR code should contain and the third line is going to save it in the working folder as a PNG file. As an option you can have this fourth line that will open the file for you when you're done so you can see a preview for testing. If you don't want that you can remove it or you can just comment it out. So if I run this file now it's going to prompt me for the information I'd like to be in the QR code. Then it's going to save and load the QR code we just created. Simple as that. So now you can generate your own QR codes on your computer in seconds, even without an internet connection, direct from the command prompt or via Python. If you'd like to download the file I use for the demonstration, I'll put a link in the description. Stay tuned for another tutorial on this topic that will give you more control over the QR codes that you create with Python. Thanks for watching.